Hello everyone, it's Renee, the Practical Shaman here. I wanted to make one last call for those of you who want to join us on Saturday to work in with the winds of spirit to help you navigate your life. And what does that mean? So just what does that mean? You're probably thinking to yourself, like, Renee, really, how can, you know, pulling a wind spirit card and painting them onto a set of prayer flags change the, the course of my life? Well, I'm here to tell you that it does. It does it with ease. And there's hundreds of other people who have done it in the past, and they find that it works really well in their lives. And what it is, is it creates an outdoor altar. And the outdoor altar, you know, you, you make your prayer flags, then you hang them upside, outside, and it tends to get you out of the door, first of all, out towards nature, and also helps you to, to consciously call upon the wind spirits to help guide and navigate your life. And why is that important? Well, it's really rough out there. Those are some pretty rough seas. Are you holding on tight to those gunnels and saying, help, help, I need some help getting to where I want to go? Well, we do this as a community, and while not the entire community won't be on the call making their prayer flags, there are many people, probably a dozen or so or more of people, who are actually calling to the wind spirits every single month, making prayer flags, and really learning to cooperate with these winds. So for example, so say I, I want to call upon one major wind, uh, one of the cardinal winds for, for my year. So what I do is I take out, I take out the cardinal winds from, the, um, so from the, the wind spirit deck, and you can get those free on the website, on any blog, open it up and said download the wind spirit cards. And you can try this, take it out for a test drive. Don't just believe me, but maybe you want to get your children involved. Maybe you want to get your spouse involved. Maybe you want to pull a family wind so that it can keep you un united for the year. So what we do is we, we find the, the, the one cardinal wind that's overarching wind, the one that's giving us a sense of direction for the year. So if it's east, it's about our mind, memories, and beliefs, things that need to change in our thinking, things that the way we hold our mind, the way our mind actually works. If we pull a card from the south, then it's about our emotional needs and desires that are growing new 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 seeds, new new stocks this year. Uh, if it's in the West, it's a, something about our physical uh, harvest, our endings, um, our physical body that might need tending to. And if our overarching is the North, it's about community, connection, and spirit. And my guess, I haven't pulled my cards for the years, my guess is that I may be heading North this year because I'm writing a new book, I'm launching the audio version of Winds of Spirit, and there's new information coming in. I'm doing a, a, a writing uh, accountability class every week. And so what do I need? I need wind power to actualize all these dreams because left to Renee's power, you know, we get sick, we get waylaid, we, we get off track. But when I call to the wind spirits and they come in and help, it's effortless. So if you think that, well, you know, maybe I'll give it a try, let me know. Uh, email me over at windblessings at gmail.com and say, hey, I, I think I want to give this a try, but I need to know a little bit more. Uh, one of the things that we're also offering is if you register for $75, you can gather six people at your house and all chip in, you know, $10 and or $12, what's a couple cup of coffee, and you can all do this together. Um, I think that it's time that we gather back together in community and I want to make this accessible, affordable. Uh, yesterday, somebody said to me, well, community should be free, Renee. Well, if you really believe that, my guess is that you don't really have, um, you, you don't really have strength. You don't, like, there might not be so much strength in numbers in your community because I believe community is self-supporting, self-sufficient. 
And so, yeah, like I work with a medicine woman who worked by donation only. And eventually we had to start to suggest to people what that donation would be because we don't necessarily um, put appropriate value on our spiritual practices. You know, people say, oh, churches just collect money. Well, hey, somebody's got to pay to keep the lights on. Someone has to pay the uh, virtual assistants and and the A Webers, and you know, even my podcast with Sandra, it costs us each several hundred dollars a month. Now we're not complaining because we choose to do it, but community is not free. And I, I want to just, I want to just tell people this. Yes, you might be bring over a free loaf of bread to a neighbor, but it it involves an INI, a set of reciprocity of what we give back and forth. Because yes, maybe I can maybe I can suck the community dry, but then it doesn't renourish me when I need something. The reason that when I was sick recently, that so many people brought me food is because I do the same thing for them. And trust me, I don't when I dig into my pocket to bring somebody some soup from Whole Foods or that I make, I don't say, hey, I, I'm charging you for that. No, it's a give and take. So I say that, and here comes Sami. She agrees. And the wind that I pulled for this wind wind uh, class on Saturday is Vayu, the Indus wind of strength. And trust your power. And so I'm gonna call to Vayu and Oh, by the way, I'm very excited about this man who's reading the the book. He's like done a lot of research on the word the words and and how to say these. And it's really it's one thing to write the book and put it into uh, lines on a page, but it's a whole different thing to read these 32 wind spirits in the back of the book with all of their cultures and all of their um, their nuances. So I'm really very very excited about Nathan who's reading the book. And I'm hopefully thinking that you guys are going to be just as excited. I can't wait to listen to my book read to me. I mean, what a, a novel thing after writing it for so long and then editing it for so long and then trying to sell it for so long. I mean, selling a book is not easy. Somebody once said, oh, now I thought once you wrote the book, you were there. But no, once you wrote the book, then you get to sell it. Um, all right. So, Vayu, the Indus Wind of Strength. Hum the Terra Mantra. Hum Om is the sound of the wind as it blows with the force when strength is needed. So I'm going to call to the wind spirit and do an Om that everybody who needs the wind in their life joins us this Saturday for this uh, this class, this workshop, this play shop that we're going to actually sit in community and talk about what's real in my life, what's real in the other people who are joining us lives, and hopefully you'll gather your own group to come here, and if not, to do the prayer flags with us, to do it on your own, to share these prayer flags so that every month we can call to a new wind in this group, and you'll know what we're talking about. All right, I'm going to call, this is, this is the new... Um, this is the new healer's whistle that just arrived from Chile. Thank you, Alejandro. And I'm very excited about it. I'm, it's got a little thing to hang it on. You can get these over at thepracticalshaman.com. But let's whistle the Om. Om. Om, the sound of wind passing through the trees. Imagine if the wind is passing through your life, creating a breeze to help you reach all your ambitions and goals this year. With the wind at your back, you have everything you need to get to where you want to go. So I hope you join us on Saturday, and I look forward to teaching you how I call in the winds for the year and that you can play with us and join us too. Thank you.